Here we have a 2023 on a 23 registration Mercedes Benz Sprint to 517 CDI EVM conversion 19 seat mini coach. So we're at DJ Coaches down in Gravesend. Always weird coming here because all the big coaches have my initials on them, DJC. Anyway, this is very, very nice. Not too long, just standard wheelbase, not extended. Very, very good condition. Very simplistic for want of a better expression is Matt here. Plain white with just the name on. No sort of loads of lettering and vinyls to take off. Euroliner wheel trims are fitted. I do like the new cowl on the front of the sprinters, just it makes it look that bit more modern. Coach style rear. Reversing cameras fitted up there. Got a large drop well boot on here, so plenty of room for bags, golf clubs, etc. Back down the near side, again. All good, they keep them lovely and clean here, to be honest. You won't have an issue taking a vehicle out of this yard. Power operated plug type door. We were just discussing the other day what our swivel doors, they, there's very little with an in swing door these days, isn't there? Anyway, I digress. As we jump on board, no, I'm gonna close the boot first because I forgot it's binking at me. And <clears throat> very difficult to talk to you when I've got doing. Doing, doing in my lug hole. So, where were we? Oh yes, as we jump on board, we have got 19 reclining seats. Now for me, with sprinters these days, it's the magic number, 19 with luggage. That's what it seems everybody wants. So, 19 reclining seats with three point seat belts, half leather trim, Matt likes a bit of orange. Not sure if he's related to Barry Austin. Who knows? Hey, sold Barry Austin a couple of coaches. He picked them up. They've got red seats in. That'll be like trauma. Picked them up yesterday. They'll be retrimmed by next week. Amber fire. So, we're waiting for CCTV. Seats are in great condition. It's a tidy thing. This can just go straight to work. Internal luggage racks, let's have a sit down. Internal luggage racks with individual passenger service units. We're double glazed with full draw curtains. USBs or USB connectors at every seat. We've got wood effect flooring. Carpet to the aisle. What's not to like? Even courier seats. As I said, these are the sort of things that everybody seems to be after at the minute. Getting down to the business end, we've got multifunction steering wheel. Keyless ignition on these now. Okay, to be honest, I've just walked to my car, which is just down there. I forgot I had the keys in my pocket. When I came back, it was still running. So they've got a good range. Um, dash is all in good order. You've got a full multimedia system there with bluetooth connectivity that's a weird place to put a taco but there's nowhere else is there when you look really um 81 and a half thousand kilometers 50,000 mile it's not killed is it it's not the manual it's not sat still either you know 18 months old It's also got remote central locking. You'll have the balance of any manufacturer's warranty on this as well. In fairness, for me, there's nothing not to like, in all honesty. Very, very well presented minibus. And you're going to say to me, why is he getting rid of it? I'll be honest with you, I think the plan is to just concentrate on big coaches and reduce the minibuses. So there's no ulterior motive, nothing sinister, genuine reason for sale. Just so to recap, it's 2023 on a 23 registration. Mercedes-Benz Sprint to 517 CDI EVM conversion 19 seat mini coach.